So for loops in bash shell and uh, Python look like this. So this is the bash example here first. Um, we use the keyword for, and then we have a variable in some list. We do something until we're done. So you know, from two to 10 and steps of two looks such that we say for X in the sequence of two, starting at two in steps of two up to 10, uh, we echo the output and then we're done and we say that we're done. And the second example was the sum of vector elements. Uh, we set a variable to zero, we go through a list of elements and then we build the sum. So let's see what happens if we execute this, right? So we get two, four, six, eight, ten. First four is done, and then 29, just like we had calculated in our heads uh, in the lecture. The same example now in Python looks like that. Again, we import NumPy because it is useful in the second example. 4x uh, in range 2, 11, and 2. We print this, then we say the first four is done. Uh, same here, then s is set to zero, and then we add the contents of this array to s and print s. And uh, here we are seeing the same results that we already expected. I do wanna point out, I can't point that out enough, how important it is to pay attention to the spaces in Python, right? If we do this wrong here, then uh, we end up with first four done uh, all the time. So the change in the amount of white spaces in Python indicates the closing of a loop. Whereas in the shell, for instance, we have the whole do done business. We still do the indentation because it looks better. It's easier to read the code. In Python, that is required, uh, but there isn't an explicit way to close the loop that is a readable character or string. It's the absence of the indentation, the absence of white spaces that, um, that changes this.